Hello, my name is Ray Salazar, and this is Morning Real, a three or four or a 700 minute or so podcast of films that I review, that I watch either on a daily basis, or I reflect back on movies that I've seen over my life, and what I got on my shelf or whatnot. Either way, even if I got to download it off of YouTube, paying for it, of course, rate and review this podcast, Apple. It's on iHeart, it's on Google Podcast. You know, get at me, get at me. Anyways, I haven't seen a lot of films that come out of Hong Kong, especially in the 90s. Well, any decade really. Rare. The Chunking Express, a 94 Hong Kong romantic crime dramedy written and directed by Wong Kar Wai. I love Wong Kar Wai. Who doesn't? He knows how to set the mood. He knows how to be romantic. He's an expert of love and relationships. And he likes to get a little weird about it too. But in the in the sense of its word. The film stars Brigitte Linchin Hisa, Takeshi Kaneshiro, Tony Leung Chihua, and Fei Wong. Cinematography by Christopher Doyle and Andrew Lau. Directed, edited by William Chang, Kai Week, Kai Ki Wai, Kwang Chi Luing, music by Frankie Chan, Ro A. Garcia. I was amazed watching this film. I'll keep this brief because I've seen this film maybe like three times as I've seen it. Maybe four now, to be honest. Um, I feel like this is like a Hong Kong version of some type of Richard Linklater film. You know, maybe this is the film that Richard Linklater would have done if you were to ever shoot something in Hong Kong. Wong Kar Wai knows how to set awkwardness. And you see it a lot in the second half of the film where police officer 663, he goes to the spa and gets food and he sees this chick. And I don't know, this chick sees him. She works there. And it just begins with looks. And then it goes even further from that into words, conversations, um, accompaniment. Accompaniment. It's very important to know because you, you get to see this gradually. And it it doesn't feel forced. It feels natural in a sense. It feels like he puts it weird. So it can get there a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. And the first half of the story is pretty cool. I love that he fucked around with the shutter speed. Or rather shutter angle. Making the making the, the film footage seem very distorted. Spacey. A lot of frame blending of sorts. You know? It's like if you were like super wasted on beer. And you have like double vision you know stuff like that it's just trippy i dig it i dig how he uses that for time lapses and to create suspense he adds to it is it needed um i feel like the way he just the fact that it's shot in like urban hong kong like downtown hong kong or whatnot you have like gritty characters trying to do like petty crimes like and it's drug crimes you know that's big so it sets the mood. It sets a good mood. I dig it. Overall, this film is, to me, a four out of four. It is a cute love, crime, love story. It feels very American, in a sense. It feels very French New Wave, because it's handheld. And, you know, there are conversations that talk about going somewhere or getting away from somewhere. Maybe, maybe feeling that you're missing something in life you know and some people travel far to get what they're going or to find what they want to do some don't even have to some miss the mark and this film never misses it's a bullseye i'm ray salazar follow me morning shot films ig youtube rate and view this episode this podcast 
thank you for listening. Thank you for the feedback. Send me suggestions at officialmorningreel at gmail.com. Thank you.